obviously, I don't think I will find a CEO that disagree on these great points, but to actually do it in practice is something else, right? So is it like, is it about hiring people working at investor relations? Is it about creating a culture from the top and bringing it down to the organizations? Because how do you get this out in practice, which you obviously has, have managed to do, right? Well, I think obviously, if you look at corporate culture, leadership ha has a huge impact. And, and I would argue builds culture in a way. And in my book, leadership is, is what it's about setting the agenda, prioritizing work, managing, leading, delegate, delegating projects and, and, and work. So it's, it's important on the one hand. And on the other hand, it's also important to provide a, a sense of a joint vision. Um, um, and, and, and I mean, let's say the modern word of, of purpose, uh, right? Um, and, and I think that's important to, to also inspire the team to follow a, a route. Um, and I think that's, that's very important. And I think looking at MPCC, um, for me, at least leadership means leading by, by example and, and inspire by leading with a clear vision. And at the same time, on the cultural side, uh, I see culture as, as a, let's say, pattern or, or let's say joint beliefs or shared beliefs in the way we get things done. All right, and and this is this is how you, how you, in my view, build leadership and and culture uh, jointly. And if you look at MPCC, you always need to look at the main sponsor behind it, uh, because there is a set of, uh, let's say, um, DNA of of culture already around. And at MPCC, we were able to combine, let's say, the startup uh, mentality in a way. You know, uh, I was the the first employee and now we're 25 working with a lot of partners um, as service providers so we we have somewhat of a startup um, mentality but the fundament of it is the dna of, of mpc and that is the uh, what i would say you know the mix of family office the family behind mpc and capital market orientation uh, because mpc capital as the main sponsor is listed itself in frankfurt so um i think that that is that is extremely important in building culture. And, and, and then, you know, if you follow that vision, people, you know, buy into that. And, uh, and, and that is important. And lastly, to your point on how to be disciplined, uh, I think that was, that was kind of also the essence of, of, of your question. How can you ensure that you stay disciplined and rational? It's also about the, not, not just the management team and the, and the people, it's also about the board. Um, and I think we have a very, very solid board that shares those views and, and has the same view on how to build a company and, and how to behave. Um, uh, and that again, for example, we have uh, Dr. Axel Schroeder, he's a representative of the family behind the MPC group, he's member in the board. Um, um, and, and, and he obviously has also, you know, designed the culture of the MPC group. And I think that is something we, we also find at MPC Container Ships these days. Very, very interesting. Just some quick, quick fires questions, Konstantin, before we wrap up. So you don't have to be so long in your answers, but it's interesting just from a Norwegian perspective. Can you give an insight into the best and worst part about being listed in Norway? Yeah, it's, um, I think the, uh, actually be the Norwegian path has been one of the key ingredients to our success. Um, and, and I don't say that because I'm talking to a, a Norwegian uh, or to, to, to a Norwegian format in a way or address the Norwegian community. It's because uh, being listed in Frankfurt as MPC Capital, and I used to be CFO at MPC Capital, working in a less flexible and pragmatic uh, stock market environment. Um, and, and it's not all bad, right? But it's, it's, it's less dynamic, less flexible. It's, it's so important to, to understand that, you know, the Norwegian market is, is so efficient. It's, it's, it's the also stock exchange. It's the time to market, time to money. You know, we, and we basically four weeks from putting the idea on paper to raising 100 million. Um, and it's, it's the Oslo Stock Exchange, uh, it's the investment banks, Fernley is to name a very prominent one who has been very supportive for DNB markets uh, in, in our company buildup. It's the, the law firms, you know, it's, it's the whole community around capital markets in combination with the educated and I would say entrepreneurial spirit of investors, uh, right? Because Norwegian investors or people who invest into Norwegian 
companies or, or listed companies, um, they understand the, the dynamics and, and have a good understanding of the asset heavy cyclical industries. Um, and we brought something to the table that was unique and that was container shipping. And that, that made, that made you know, the combination of that market being ready for something like MPC container ships and us needing a market like this, um, a, a perfect match uh, in my view. And to this date, we are the only listed container company in Oslo. Um, so all our peers are listed in the US, yet I wouldn't say we trade any, any worse. Um, to the contrary, I think we, we have a very solid footing in the Norwegian market. Um, and I'm happy that we are uh, listed in, in Oslo. And uh, so it, it became a bit more of a longer answer, admittedly now. But, but I, I think this is, this is really something that is, that is worth highlighting. Time to money, time to market, and the whole community around it has been extremely uh, uh, favorable and beneficial for us. Do you want to try to take the worst part of being in Oslo? Or don't see well, anything? It's, <laughs> well, it's... I'm, 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 uh, oh, oh. I mean, it's it's the flight connections from Hamburg to uh, to Oslo. I I must say, uh, I, I used to be there, you know, every every other week. Um, and now with the pandemic, obviously, you know, that has become a, a bit of a challenge. Um, and yet, uh, I, I was I, I have been uh, to Oslo a few occasions last year when you know it was possible to travel again. Yet the flight connections are a nightmare. Uh, so so that's that's one thing. And then, obviously, especially if you are in winter, the days are short and dark uh, so so that's something that uh, that is more uh, easy to digest here in uh, further south uh, on this globe but no but i think that uh, uh, that is that is probably the two things i i can highlight <laughs>